Okay, this is what we got. Russia orders troops to prepare for war with U.S. Reports circulating in the Kremlin today state that Prime Minister Putin has ordered Russian military forces to prepare to confront American military forces in Afghanistan over what Deputy Prime Minister Sergia Ser Ivanov warns is the greatest threat to international peace and security. Afghanistan's thriving drug trade supported by the U.S. and NATO. Not being reported to the American people about the Afghanistan war is that it has nothing to do with their being protected from terrorists, but rather it involves the billions of dollars gained for many of the West's top intelligence agencies, mainly the CIA, from the heroin produced in this region, 90% of the world's total that by 2001 the Taliban had virtually eliminated. Immediately after the U.S. invasion of Afghanistan in October 2001, the Central Intelligence Agency installed one of their main Afghan operatives, Hamid Karzi, as president, who then put into power his brother Ahmed Karzi, who since then has increased heroin production to levels unseen in modern times and resulting in the deaths of tens of thousands of Russian citizens. Viktor Ivanov, the head of Russia's Federal Drug Control Service, Russia's National Drug Enforcement Agency, told Parliament in May that it was reasonable to call the flow of Afghan opiates the second edition of Opium Wars. Inabov was referring to the 19th century war between Britain and China, sparked by exports of opium from British India to China. Ivanov isn't alone. I can name you a lot of politicians in Russia who said the Americans specifically arranged the situation in Afghanistan so that we would receive a lot of drugs. And this is the real aim of their occupation, said Andrea Klimov, the deputy head of the Foreign Affairs Committee in Russia's lower house of parliament. I am not sure this is true, but who knows. One person who definitely knew it was true was German President Horst Kohler, who after returning from Afghanistan last month, linked the war with the defense of German economic interests because it was securing free trade routes for the West and had nothing to do whatsoever with terrorism. terrorism. For his outspokenness, President Kohler was forced to resign, plunging an already battered Chancellor Merkel into even greater political turmoil. Most shocking to understand about the CIA being the world's largest drug trafficker is that it isn't even kept secret anymore and hasn't been embraced by the new president, Barack Obama, who has used billions of dollars earned through Af Afghan heroin deals to fund his sending U.S. Special Forces teams to over 75 different nations, as well as building for them a new 100 million headquarters base in Afghanistan while his own citizens plunged deeper into poverty. Important to note, though, is that Obama is far from being the first American president to embrace the drug trade, as nearly all of his predecessors were likewise involved in starting and maintaining wars to keep the billions earned from this most despicable of crimes preying on the weakest people in their society, mainly the poor and people of color. For those few reporters seeking to inform the American people about this crime, the hard and brutal lesson learned from the late Gary Webb's blacklisting and suiciding by the U.S. intelligence agents after his revealing the CIA's involvement in the drug trade presents a chilling example of what these monsters will do to protect themselves and their right to poison anyone they choose. Interesting to note is that according to the head of the UN Office on Drugs and Crime, Antonio Maria Costa said he has seen evidence that the proceeds of organized crime were the only liquid investment capital, capital, capital 
available to some banks on the brink of collapse last year. He said that a majority of the $352 billion of drug profits was absorbed into the economic system as a result. Though the American people still ignore the crimes being perpetrated by their so-called leaders, the lessons of their own history should not be lost upon them, especially when viewed in the light of the use of drug and alcohol laws used for mass imprisonment, while at the same time instituting around them a draconian, tyrannical society where all their freedoms will be stripped from them. And for those Americans thinking that their life couldn't get any worse, they couldn't be more mistaken. For the past week, Obama's Federal Trade Commission, the FTC, released what they call a staff discussion draft of potential policy recommendations to support the reinvention of journalism, wherein they called for a doctrine of proprietary facts that would outlaw anyone writing or reporting on anything that happens unless they use the facts provided to them by the government. But then again, and as the history of these Americans seem to show, with their massive government debt about to eclipse their gross national product, or GDP, for the first time in history, their once vital Gulf of Mexico region succumbing to the wor world's worst oil spill catastrophe, and their NASA, never a straight answer, scientists now warning that the awakening sun may destroy everything anyway. Maybe they truly can't be told the truth and must be treated like the children they act like. Must sees understanding the signs of the time, predictions of the near future, full disclosure, Gog, USA, and Magog, Russia, 2012 and the significance of Pakistan, U.S. moves missiles and troops to Russian border. Showdown with Russia and China. U.S. advances first strike global missile shield system. U.S. preparing for war with Russia. U.S. wars and the opium trade. CIA secret operations and drug money. Afghanistan. U.S. escalates the illegal drug industry. How deeply is the U.S. involved in the drug trade? Project 2012 predictions coming true. Nuclear war begins soon? Alert. Pakistan. Iran say to face hot July. The road to Armageddon? Will globalists trigger yet another world war? Survive anything. Nuclear attack. Be prepared for the worst. An imperial strategy for the new world order? The origins of World War III? Escalation scenarios. The Third World War and its aftermath? A suggested survival list. The link will be provided. Thank you for your time. My name is Jim, a.k.a. Walking Dude.